Well, slowing down cars and saving lives in National City. That is the goal of a Vision Zero policy, which aims to eliminate traffic fatalities and increase safety in the process. Here to tell us more is National City Mayor Alejandra Sotelo Solis. Mayor, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for the invite. Of course. So let's talk a little bit about this. What brought it on, I suppose? Have you been seeing an increase in traffic fatalities? So this year alone, we've had four pedestrian fatalities mm. um, from vehicle to pedestrian fatalities. And as we look uh, to how to make our community safer, Vision Zero is a policy, a strategy uh, to slow people down, mm -hmm. uh, to get from one place to the other, but really not having those pedestrian deaths, not having the bike uh, fatalities um, due to vehicle you know, speeding. And then even on the flip side, empowering and educating pedestrians you have to be aware of your surroundings. Right. You cannot just go into a crosswalk thinking that the little blinking signal is going to protect you. You have to look both ways before crossing the street. You need to have an earbud off. You need to not be texting while you're walking. Sure. You know, so there's, there's little elements to Vision Zero uh, as well uh, from the education piece to yeah. the infrastructure. Yeah, I mean, wh how do, what happens on the infrastructure side of things? So we talk about road diets, yeah. and that means that from maybe a three lane, you go down to a two or a one lane, uh, really increasing the bulb outs. So pedestrians have less uh, street to have to cross, mm. but they also too have more visibility because they can go to the edge of that bulb out and see if there's a vehicle coming. We have additional safe routes to still safe routes to school dollars that we've used in the past to make sure that wherever we've found that there is a path to school, that it'd be safer. So increased visibility, again with bulb outs, mm -hmm. uh, the crosswalks, uh, blinking lights, uh, additional patrol uh, mm -hmm. for our law enforcement. And it's really that balance that we need to make sure people get to and from home or grocery store back home, uh, as well as making sure that they abide by the law. Right. And we know that, you know, a working class family who possibly gets a ticket for a California roll or for, you know, parking in the red, maybe a $200 ticket, but that might mean that rent doesn't get paid or, uh, you know, food, something has to give. And we need to make sure that everybody is ready to abide by all the rules and really respect the community um, that we truly love. Yeah, I mean, so many important aspects to this, like you said, of keeping everyone safe in the process. How much more important is that when we have a holiday like Halloween coming up where you've got pedestrians all over the place? That's the point. You know, we know yeah. kids and families will be out. So dress properly. Have, you know, the little glow sticks or a flashlight. Make sure that you are visible. Secondly, try to go to the corners and cross the streets because we know the kids jot across, you know, the middle of this block to get the candy. As parents who are driving or if you're in a new neighborhood, be very cognizant of that. We want everyone to get home safely on this Halloween uh, holiday. And all of this started in Sweden, right? Originally? That's Cor fascinating to me. Correct. <laughs> so National City has yeah. been doing some of these infrastructure changes over the course of the last few years, but we officially took on the Vision Zero policy mm -hmm. through resolution in September of this year. So we are now uh, rolling it out to the community. We'll probably do some walk audits mm -hmm. and we'll invite you all to come out and observe with us and take down some notes. But for us, it's really about making sure that public safety and our community knows that we're here to protect and keep our community safe. Would love to come out and see it at work. Mayor Alejandro Sotelo Solis, thanks so much for stopping by. Muchísimas gracias. Appreciate it, yeah.